Alright, hi guys and gals. Back again. Um, I was here to tell you new things in the gaming world. Um, as a retro gamer, uh, I was delighted to uh, find out that there are speedrunning communities. Um, I don't know about you, I'm sure some of you are like this. I know not everyone's like this. Um, I know back in the day, um, you know, I figured a game wasn't a game until you really took your time and played it all. And, it, you know, I'm still not, um, that's exactly why generally I'm still like that now. Uh, I mean, if you watch me play a game, you'll see that I take my time, I explore everything. Games have become so awesome, so uh, advanced that I just feel it's a little unfair to just kind of zip through it all. I like to observe it. I mean, get all my money's worth, no matter what, how much I paid or, or whatnot, or even if it was a gift in the uh, rare occasion. But um, as some of you may have known, um, maybe some of you aren't into retro games. Uh, I know some of you are. Um, I'm sure anyone, somebody on the YouTube is eventually going to find this. Or eventually going to pick up that I'm into it um, once I start posting more stuff. But uh, when when you love a game, uh, especially, or you, know, you keep playing it and you keep playing it, and basically it starts to get boring. So you, know, you find new ways to challenge yourself. You know, fastest run, even if it's the weirdest thing, less points, doing it one handed, crazy, you know, even crazily doing it like blindfolded which would probably never as far as I know doesn't really work well but the point is you you challenge yourself and um, you know some people take it to a new level I mean some people literally um, and, and thank God some ways for twitch and some people just literally play like the same handful of games or you know basically it's trying to improve their times by mere fractions of seconds and it sounds crazy it's probably egotistical but uh, you know it's neat to know there's communities out there I mean that kind of keep the games that were of old um, alive I mean there are many reasons why there's a market out there uh, and that, that's one of the reasons but um, basically some of these people turn to marathons now some of you are aware of the STGQ. Maze of Summer Games done quick. Um, I think that's been going on since 2010. Um, but uh, this year they raised a new record. I think over three million. And apparently, as of this video, as of the writing, you can still donate, which is interesting. Um, but I've watched them before. Um, they're still neat to see, even though um, I think they've taken. Uh, they changed it up. It's I don't think it's exciting as it used to be, but there's still games on there that it's still fun to watch. And frankly, if you're into those things, if you're someone who likes to watch Twitch, you can still get caught up in watching how people spend their time, you know, perfecting uh, run-throughs of games and how people challenge each other, which I think is the more exciting thing is you know, when the races, and people who love the same game, uh, see who can get done the quickest. But I thought I'd post that on there because it's it's really neat to know that, you know, that whole stereotype that, you know, games just, gaming is just a waste, it can't be lucrative, can't be good for anything, it's always for lazy and so.